Hey you guys, someone asked me a pretty simple question where you would make a database and this one is of a list of songs uh, made by a certain artist that have a genre and a mood uh, associated with them and then um, this person wanted to see a list in a portal of other songs of either the same genre or the same mood. So you can see that this is metal and it shows a couple of other metal songs. This is not a metal song but this one does have the same mood. Um, so in order to set something up like this, there are a few steps you need to do. So let's kind of dig in and let's see how we would go about doing this. So let's get a, a new solution started. Um, there we go. Let's call this one Portal Filter 2. And let's see what we need to do. So first of all, we need to have our um, table. And I'm going to change the name. And then we need to add some fields. Very simple. I'm going to have an ID, which is a number field, which is a serial number. That's very simple. I always have that one. Then I'm going to have, let's say, artist name. I'm going to keep this very simple. Song title, um, genre, and mood. Okay, cool. If we do that, then we've got our little, and I always like to kind of keep my setup so that I have one table view, one one layout view. So I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call this one lay music uh, for the computer in a form view. And then I'm going to uh, use my field picker here to add these fields to my layout. There you go. Very simple. Cool. And now I guess I could start by just simply adding a few uh, records to my uh, thing here. Um, let's just make one here. Let's do dark tranquility. Um, and let's do metal and moody just uh, to kind of keep it in sync with what I had before. Now if you want you can make these things kind of drop downs and a cool trick is if you don't want to restrict your list of values and you just want that to be kind of variable what you can do is you can create a new one genre and then you can just say use the values from a field from music you can just use genre itself and that way what's gonna happen is as you start to enter data in there and like you want to make a new record um, you might want to say something like Queen Emian Rhapsody um, then what happens is it already kind of suggests the values that already exist and, and up until now there's only one value that exists I don't want to use that one because this is not metal this is more like rock and then um, I'll just say it's a little upbeat. I don't really know. Um, I don't really. It doesn't really matter. So um, then, if you make new records, um, as you fill in more and more genres, they will start showing up in your dropdown, which is pretty handy. Um, so you can do the same thing for the mood. You can also make that a dropdown list and just call this one mood. And then you can say use the values from a field and from music. Let's use mood. Okay. Cool. 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 And then you can kind of um, get um, for this one as well. You get the values that have already been created. So if we do um, there, we go. We have a few records now. So this is more like rock. The mood. I don't really know what this mood is. Um, um, moody. I don't know. Okay, so now the second step we're gonna need to show this um, portal with all of the other records and there is a few different ways that you can go about doing this. You can go to file manage database, you can go to relationships. Um, a portal shows you um, records from a related table. Now in this situation I only have one table. There is no related table. I just want to show music from the music table. Um, but I do need to create a related table. And in, in FileMaker that's not really a problem. You can just take this one and either Alt drag it or you can just click this one and then click the two green plus icons here and what that does is it duplicates the selected object and now you have music and music too and you might get the feeling that you've created a new table 
but you didn't. You just created a new table occurrence, a new occurrence of that same table. If you go into the little arrow here, and then a little balloon pops up, and it tells you that the source table is music. And for this one, the source table is also music. And if you go in your tables, you can see that you still only have one table, but you have two different occurrences in the graph. You have music and you have music two. Now, I don't like the name music two. I'm gonna rename this one to music portal and then I know exactly what this one does. Now I'm gonna have to relate them in some certain way. Uh, for instance, if I just make a simple relationship, then it says ID is equal to ID. If I do that and I create my little portal here, and I'll make it nice and white, then I've got music portal, and I'm gonna allow vertical scrolling and that's it. I'm gonna add all of these uh, to the other side which gives me four fields here and then I'm gonna go and select these and I'm gonna give them default style because I don't like it when they don't have any borders now that I've done this I'm still gonna have to give them some um, some uh, labels here and I'll just use my a here to get my formatting bar so I can line them out correctly I'm gonna alt drag them over here just to get um, to get all of my fields up here. There you go. Genre and mood. Okay, so let's have a look. What this does is, this is only showing me um, the information for the exact same um, number here. And the reason for that is, of course, because in my relationships, I have set this up to show me only, so I am on this layout and I'm gonna be seeing uh, only the ones where the ID is equal to the ID here. So that's always obviously only gonna give us one record. So if I change this one, what I could do is instead of using the is equal, I could use the X operator. And the X operator or the Cartesian join, what that does is it's gonna show me all of the records here. Uh, reg uh, doesn't matter what uh, kind of value is in here it's just going to show me everything and if i do that and i'm going to save this i do have to save that first if i do that then all of a sudden i get all of the records even though there seems to be one empty one that i hadn't filled in yet even that one is showing up so let's um fill this in with something oops and i just tabbed from here and it tabbed right into there that's not good so i'm going to, go to edit layout layout set tab order and i can see that it says one two three four five that's not very handy so i'm going to clear all and i'm just, just going to start clicking in these arrows in the order that i want okay cool so now i've got my um tab order is a lot better this is metal and this is kind of um theatrical I don't know if that's a mood but it doesn't really matter so now what happens is I have four records in total I am on a record and it doesn't matter which record I'm on uh, I'm always seeing all of the other records in here now maybe it's a little bit annoying that I'm also always seeing the record that I'm on itself as well dark tranquility is in here and it's in here as well maybe I don't want to see that one so I can go back to my file manage database and I can make a tiny uh, little uh, change here and I could say show me all the records where the ID uh, of that record is not the same as the ID of the record that I am currently on and if I do that I have to save this again then uh, there is one that disappears but all the other ones are showing so basically now i'm seeing all of the other records uh, but not the one i'm on so if i go through here then you can kind of see that it always kind of changes a little bit and i'm always seeing all the other songs now uh, that's the first step and that's kind of cool now i need to take another step where i basically have to filter out only the ones that are either rock or moody in this case so um, so I've got rock here, I've got moody here, but this one has neither of the genre or the mood, so this one should disappear. And what I can do now is I can go and double click in the portal settings, and there is a filter portal record, portal records right here. So I can check that box, and then my calculation engine just pops up, and I can start uh, using calculations. Now I do have to pay attention to where I am here. I am in the music portal. I'm gonna choose music here because I wanna use the genre field 
for music and I want to say that my genre has to be is equal to my music portal genre okay cool let's see what that does let's hit OK and then you can already see that it already has slimmed down my list I've got my rock song here and this is showing me one other rock song that's kind of good but that's only keeping into account one uh, thing only the genre it's not uh, worrying about the mood so let's go back to edit layout let's double click this again let's go back into the filter and let's do another thing let's add or and you have to be careful here because if you simply type or um, the first option that shows up here is evaluation error if you hit return here it's gonna select this one I don't want that so you have to hit space in order to escape or what you could also do is just not type or but just select or from here oops and uh, don't double click it just click it once so or I'm gonna say music mood is equal to music portal mood okay I had to get two results let's see if I get those yes I've got a rock song that is moody and I've got one moody song here and I've got one rock song here so that kind of works out well and if we kind of browse through here now this is a rock upbeat this is a rock song as well so now I'm getting uh, as a return metal and moody yes that's cool I'm getting uh, back uh, the songs that match either uh, the genre or the mood now of course if you want to be more specific and you want to say um, it has to uh, match with the both of them then you can use an and uh, here instead of an or uh, and you can kind of play around with this to you to get a kind of a different result but this is a very simple way to just use a couple of simple fields here and to uh, get results in return here now there is one thing I do have to tell you sometimes maybe when you're uh, dealing with information in here and I don't know if I can try this out see I've just changed the, the value here and this hasn't really updated yet and it just kind of jumped on to my next field here let's click okay and only when I've clicked here outside did this update now you can force that kind of an update um, by using a kind of a script trigger if you will so that as soon as you change a value this thing updates immediately and it's kind of an interesting trick to know so let's create a little script for that let's go into scripts script workspace and let's make a new script and let's call this one um, refresh and I'm gonna use two uh, steps uh, for this so that I'm definitely certain that my refresh definitely happens commit records request is basically like what I just did was clicking out of the field what that does is it kind of saves the uh, data that you just entered into that field but sometimes that is not enough because what we're looking at in the portal is actually kind of data from a related table it isn't really from a different related table because it's from the same table so maybe this step is in this case not entirely necessary but I'm gonna do it uh, uh, anyway I'm gonna use a refresh window because that one has an option to flush the cached join results and so basically what that means is um, it's gonna force that relationship to refresh and so it will refresh and update what is in your portal now I'm gonna have to um, let that little script run and I'm gonna just do that on this field on this field I will be setting a script trigger that script will be triggered on a certain event and because this is a drop down what I can do is I can use the on object modify as soon as I modify this object uh, my refresh script needs to work now you can't use the on object modify event if your field is one where you're going to manually type in information because if you're typing in stuff manually then every time you type a character you have modified it so it will run this script over and over and over again and it's going to be very annoying so then you need to do something like on object save or on object exit but in this case I can use on object modify and so I'm gonna and you can see that a little red star shows up so that tells you that there is a script trigger on that field and I'm gonna set the exact same script trigger for the other field as well so that means now that as soon as I update for instance metal to rock it automatically updates my list here as well and if I change it here this updates as well so very uh, kind of cool 
All right, so that kind of makes this file uh, a very simple file, but I think a cute little example of how you could filter stuff inside a portal. All right, I hope you guys learned something. Ciao. If you guys want to learn a ton more about FileMaker, you can head over to my Udemy page where I've got a bunch of entire FileMaker courses online. You can follow them and basically we make entire FileMaker systems from scratch and I'll take you uh, on the entire process step by step. There is even one that is uh, completely free, so you can just follow that free of charge and that is a beginner tutorial where we make an entire contact database. Um, that's a really fun one that you can follow that can teach you the basics of FileMaker. So head over there by following the links in the description and I'll see you guys there.